Hello, New Islanders. My name is Alexa Height. I am a librarian at Mary and Jeff Bell Library, and I am here today to discuss how to get started with library research. So I am on our library's homepage, library.tamucc.edu. You can also find the library homepage um, if you're on another university webpage. If you scroll down to the bottom, um, you can find visit information and Mary and Jeff Bell Library, and that'll bring you to our homepage. So first things first, we have get started with a quick search. This is kind of like Google for the library. Um, rather than Googling the entire internet, um, you are simply searching within what our library resources are. So this can include articles, books, films and video, music and audio recordings, and this is both what we have online as well as what we have in print or in a physical copy at the library. We also have um, databases. So these are, um, there's sometimes full text articles or ebooks, as well as um, records of articles that might be pertinent to your research in a database. You can narrow by subject. So if you are, let's say, a chemistry major, you can say, I want to know what the databases are that are good for this subject area. You can also narrow down by database type. So um, let's say you need a news article for your research, you can do that. Or if you need a music score, an industry report, um, there are all kinds of different database types. Also, if you know of a database you've used before that you like, you can use our little alphabet to narrow it down that way. Or you can simply search for ProQuest or something like that in our search bar here. Um, you may notice that we have this little Ask Us bot pop up. It says, do you need help? A librarian is online ready to help. You can say chat now or no thanks. We say um, somebody is, is here to help. That is not a robot. That is actually an, a real life person on the other end who can answer your question. Um, so please only chat us if you have an actual question. And uh, if you get stuck, we have lots of ways of getting in touch with us. I'm gonna go over that in a bit more detail in just a couple of minutes. Um, going back to our library homepage, again, library.tamucc.edu. Next to that databases button, we have research guides. So this um, research guides are our subject guides are like little web pages put together by a librarian um, to help you with your research. So again, I'm gonna use chemistry as an example. Um, we have, sometimes we have specific classes um, but also we have often just a general, if you're doing chemistry, you know, research in chemistry, you need articles or books or websites to go to, um, we will often have a subject specific guide. We also, and again, I'll go over this a little bit more, we also have librarians who are subject specialists in various areas. Um, and there's usually contact information, but I'll show you another way to find your subject librarian as well in just a little bit. Again, going back to our homepage, we also have a link to journals. So if you know of a specific journal um, that you uh, have used before that has research pertinent to your subject, um, you can search by journal. We also have our course reserves. Um, so if an instructor tells you that there's something on reserve in the library, you can search by course code, the name of, your ins uh, of the class, or the name of your instructor and find it more information about what's on reserve for your class there. Okay, so um, we also have resources for off-campus users. Um, so going back to that database example, if I click on a database and if I'm off-campus, I will probably be asked, like this is showing me here, to log in. Um, that is your island ID and password. So whatever you use to log into Blackboard, you might be asked to log in if you are logging in from off campus like I am today. Um, we also have a lot of other, we have ways of finding um, materials this way as well. Um, and Special Collections and Archives is a great place to do your research if you need primary resources specifically on South Texas, um, the folks in Special Collections and Archives are a, an excellent resource. 
Um, so there's information there on how to get in contact with them, and they are just lovely folks. Um, going back to our library homepage once again. Um, so if you ever get stuck on research or if you have questions, there are so many ways to get in contact with us, and we are happy to help you. So if you see over here on our homepage, we have this little Ask Us section, you can get in touch with us by chatting, calling, texting, emailing, or making an appointment with your specific librarian. So if I go to the chat here, and that chat again will pop up on certain pages like we saw, um, but if we go here, we have a little FAQ page, Frequently Asked Questions. So if you have a question about printing or Wi-Fi or something like that, you might be able to find your question by typing in, you know, I have a question about printing, um, and you might get the answer you need. Um, based on what, what folks have asked um, before. However, if you don't get the question answered, you can go over here and chat with us. You can call us, text us, email us, and contact your librarian for a research appointment. And like I said, the, when you chat with us, there are real humans on the other end of the line. So our hours um, on who is going to be, if we're available, that way, they slightly differ from when the physical library building is open. So you can get that information here. If I go to contact your librarian for a research appointment, our librarians are um, based by college or department. Um, so we have College of Liberal Arts as a large college. So we have various experts in specific subjects within that college. Um, I am a liaison to the College of Science and Engineering. My colleague Ed Warga is the other one. Um, so we kind of have various departments under our purview. But like I said before, or if I haven't, we are all very open and um, we would love to help you. So if you need to get in contact with us, again, you can chat with us, call us, um, text us, email us, or set up an appointment. Um, we are happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one because of COVID-19. We are mostly meeting um, virtually. Uh, the university has WebEx, um, and that is a great way so that we can share our screen, but we can still be safe and socially distance. And especially if you're taking online classes and aren't on campus, we can still meet with you virtually. The last thing I will mention is that we do have a guide um, that is specifically about COVID-19 updates. Um, as you can see, this guide was last updated July 15th. We haven't had a lot of changes in terms of what's open and what services we're providing since, since that date a couple weeks ago. Today's the 29th that I'm recording this. Um, but you can find our policies regarding COVID-19, our availability, um, library hours and other things like that on this guide. I just want to say once again, welcome to the island and please get in touch with us with any questions regarding library services or um, reserves or research, anything that you can think of that may or may not be library related. Um, and if we can't answer your question, we will find the person who can. So please get in touch with us and welcome to the island.